Hello, everybody. Welcome to my Sunday night Facebook Live. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm just going to wait a minute until we get some people popped in here. Oh, I see people coming in. Alvina, you're the first one in here. Yay! I'm going to get set up here on my iPad so I can read. All right. Oh, there it is. It's working. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Lee. Welcome. We've got Pamela coming in. Bonnie Kelly is here. Great name. <laughs> Hi, Dolly. Oh, my goodness. So, I don't know why that just beeped because I just turned my volume all the way down. But I suppose I have to turn off some notifications and we're not going to go there. <laughs> just leave it well enough alone, right? <clears throat> so, I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday weekend here in the United States. It is Labor Day weekend. And uh, I think all of the people who um, worked really hard to get us a holiday, right? For all the laborers. Yes. And I'm going to labor a little bit for you tonight. <laughs> but it's a fun thing. It's a fun labor. <laughs> Doesn't hardly seem like work at all, right? I was not expecting to be on tonight. We were planning on going to a friend's um, cottage on a lake. And Steve just got back from a golf tournament. I'll tell you all about it. But, um, and today I just think he didn't feel like leaving again because he just got back yesterday. So um, he made the call that he didn't want to go any place this weekend. And I had a lot of work to do. <laughs> so I was okay with it. Or I'm sure if I would have protested, we would have gone. But I didn't protest because I've got a lot of work to do too. And I wanted to get caught up on that. Um, so I decided to be live tonight. I thought, why not? I know there's a lot of people at home this holiday weekend and um, we can have some fun tonight. So let's see what happened this last week. I took Val up north. I um, was granny sitting all day on Sunday or I mean on Wednesday. And so I thought, well, as long as I've got Val, I can't get any work done, like none. <laughs> so I might as well take her up to my mom's house. So Val and I had a little road trip over to my mom's house and we stayed in the summer home. And um, oh my gosh, she was just the sweetest thing. We had so much fun. And even my mom said, I'm so glad you guys came. So we were just there for the day and um, we stayed overnight. And then I came back home Thursday and took Val to daycare. And um, my good friend, Brooke, who's also one of my assistants, is her daycare lady. And it was really cute because I messaged Jared and told him I'm going to drop Val off at daycare. And he just messaged me back. He goes, good luck with that. <laughs> because he thought there was going to be like a holy crazy like temper tantrum. Um, because she does like to spend time with me, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> but she didn't throw any fit at all. As soon as we got there, she was like among her little friends. And she was happy to see Brooke. And I told her goodbye and I left. And there was no fuss. So we were pretty surprised. But we had a great, great time. Um, we took a nap that lasted like 130, 230, 330, two and a half hours. Whoa, right? And uh, she was a little restless throughout the night. She still wakes up quite a bit crying just for no reason. And she flops around a lot like a fish <laughs> out of water. <laughs> she, bah, bah. <laughs> she did that a lot during the middle of the night. But it's not as frantic with me as it is with Haley and Jared because they have to get up and go to work all day. I get to wake up when Val decides I wake up, right? <laughs> She got up about, she woke up about seven, but then we flopped around in bed and goofed around for about an hour. So um, I don't get so panicky because I don't have to go someplace and work all day. Like if I get tired, I can take a nap, which is what happened yesterday. So I, I, what did I do? Oh, I went and found an area rug from my old office downstairs. We're turning that into a bedroom for Val and um, Molly. So I found an area rug for it. And 
I worked and then I was super tired around seven o'clock. It's like, gosh, I don't want to crawl in bed for a nap at seven because I'll probably sleep all night. So instead I went in and downstairs on the couch and I climbed under a blanket and turned on the TV and I thought I'll just take a little nap and the noise of Steve going in and out of the house will wake me up so that I don't sleep all night, right? Well, that didn't happen. I am the proud napper of a 13 hour total. <laughs> I did not wake up. I woke up at five o'clock this morning. And of course, that's way too early for me to get up. So I came upstairs and went to bed. I slept for 13 hours, people. <laughs> I don't know why. I didn't do that much yesterday. So maybe, yeah, maybe it was me catching up from my sleepless, kind of restless night from Val. I don't know, but 13 hours. I should get a trophy for that. <laughs> so Steve was up in the UP for his annual um, golf tournament. And this is a golf tournament with just a bunch of guys that get together every year in the UP and they go to a whole bunch of different golf courses up there. They have some beautiful golf courses. And so as we're, we message maybe once or twice a day while he's gone, usually once. Um, and he's messaging me and I keep telling him, bring home the money. How much money did you win? Where's the money? And he finally messaged me back. He goes, there is no money. <laughs> And I messaged him back and I said, oh, there better be money. <laughs> I told him he needs to start contributing a little bit around here. And we laughed and laughed. So it was pretty funny. There better be money. <laughs> he told me the day before he lost $40. I'm like, no, that's not right. I want money in your pocket to come home. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> um, today I went out... Um, to get some Halloween candy. You know how like all the places have all the holiday stuff out like six months before a holiday? Like I would have expected Halloween stuff to be out in July. Well, I could hardly find anything. And yes, they got bags of candy in those little individual packs, you know. I bought a great big bag of that the other day. But I wanted novelty Halloween candy, you know. It is candy corn season, people. This is the only stupid little bag I could find. <laughs> I had to go to two stores. It was horrible. So anyways, don't go looking for the Halloween novelty candy. I know, Debbie says candy corn, Kelly. I know, right? Somebody sent me gourmet candy corn last year, and oh my, could I tell you? It was delicious. So I ate a little bit of candy corn today, but not very much because you guys know that I'm back on my Octavia plan and um, I'm down 11 pounds. Yay! I hope Bev is watching. Bev, I'm killing it. Bev is my coach and um, I'm down 11 pounds. I'm doing really good. And um, what else? So I got the candy corn. We're going to do a cute project tonight. That's why I needed some candy and all I could find was candy corn. What else do I want to tell you? Um, I will be gone next weekend. Steve's got a little surprise for me. I'm not quite sure what it is. I think we're going to head out on maybe Saturday and, um, I don't know, see what we can see. I haven't asked a lot of questions. He just said, we're leaving next weekend. I said, okay. So I will make sure that I update you on all the shenanigans and let you know what's happening. I think it'll be a lot of fun. And then next month, I am going to be going on my million dollar trip. Wah! I'm so excited about that. Um, we're headed to Salt Lake City in October. And um, yeah, we've got a lot of fun stuff planned. Steve wants to see the national parks. I guess there's like, is there five or four national parks in Utah? So we're going to do that after we get done at the Stampin' Up! headquarters. And um, I'm getting excited. I'm getting really excited about that. And then I forgot to tell you guys last weekend, remember Haley and Jared came over and we had BLTs. And Haley goes, do you need any help? Like, you need help with something? And I'm like, no, but I, all I forgot was the lettuce. And she goes, oh, I don't even know what to do with that, people. <laughs> I don't even know what people do with that. Isn't that funny? She doesn't eat lettuce. So she has no idea what to do with a head of lettuce. Oh, thank you guys so much. I see a bunch of you coming in. Oops, 
I don't want to send stars <laughs> coming in and saying congratulations on the weight loss. Thank you. I can tell you that I feel really good. Um, and my belt was, I was on the last thing and now I can get it up to the fourth hole. So yay me. It works. Um, the other thing I want to share with you is the new baby's name. For those of you that might miss it, Haley and Jared are expecting another baby. It's a boy. And he will be born at the beginning of March. Well, I just know Val's going to kill him. But we'll get through that. Anyways, his name is already picked out. And they told us it's going to be Dawson Thomas. Dawson, because Haley really likes that name. And Thomas after my dad, because his name was Tom. So, Dawson Thomas, that's what it's going to be. Oh, I forgot to bring my mail up here, you guys. Um... I've got a couple mail. Oh, I have mail down in the kitchen. If Steve comes in the house, I'll holler at him and ask him to bring me my mail. Um, I do have some mail here, so I'll set that right over here so we can share that at the end. What else did I want to tell you? Oh, I have five catalog kickoffs, you guys. There's $40 worth of product in here from our catalog kickoff event and um, pre-cut card stock for nine cards. You get a PDF file with links to um, three live videos where I think we demonstrate like 18 cards or something like that. And so if you miss the catalog kickoff and you would like to get a hold of one of those make and take packets, I have posted a link to order them on my blog, www.astampabub.com. And, um, I've only got a few left, so make sure you get yours. It's a lot of fun. Lots of good stuff in there. $40 worth of product. The cost is $54. Bucks. So, oh, everybody likes the name. I do too. I like Dawson Thomas. I like Thomas especially because I was very fond of my father. Haley and, and my dad were like this, so it's really important to her. Okay, um, don't forget, celebration is ends at the end of this month, the end of September. By the way, today is September 5th, 2021. This will be uploaded to YouTube. So, you know, the, the video is there forever. But anyway, celebration is happening. This is the best time to join my team. Become a discount shopper or you can build a business if you want. We don't judge you. Um, but you can get all your products at a dis discount. You get to choose $125 in any product customizable that you want free shipping, um, you get a paper pumpkin kit, and you get to choose a bundle of your choice out of page 19 in here, a bundle of your choice for free, all for $99 plus tax, no shipping. So the best time to join my team is before the end of the month during our celebration. And then of course, celebration, for every $50 you order, you get to choose free items out of here. Some of them require a $100 order. There's no limit to how many you can get. What did somebody just say? Lisa said, you should make him a 3D project with his name. Ooh, I like it, Lisa. I like it a lot. Um, so that's what's happening here. All right. Oh, we have prizes. Yay. Okay. Oh, where's the first one? So there's three ways that you can win a prize. One of the ways is by commenting. So if you're new to me, please leave a comment and um, let me know that you're here and you'll get entered into a prize drawing. And first of all, this is the last packet of these glitter dots that I have and they are perfect for the upcoming holiday, Christmas, right? Or Valentine's Day with the red or um, St. Patrick's Day with the green. So boy, we're covering all the bases here. Well, maybe not. 4th of July, but you get it. Anyways, for commenting on my video last weekend, Dee Dee Tibke of Prescott Valley, Arizona, you are the winner of these beautiful glitter dots. I know you're going to love them and I have them ready to roll and go in the mail. Now, the second way for you to win fabulous prizes is to share this video. And there's some place on your screen right now where you can click on share and just share the video to your profile. That really helps me grow my business and I so appreciate it. I've got two half packs of ribbon here. A half a pack of the Evening Evergreen Sheer Ribbon, which is just gorgeous. And a half a pack of this Gold Shimmer Ribbon, which is also gorgeous. 
Both of these are going out to Marilyn. Oh, I don't know how to say your last name, Marilyn. Curbis of Lake Havu City, Arizona. So we got two Arizona winners in the house tonight. That is for sharing. The other thing that really helps me out, you guys, is to click that like button. There's a little thumbs up there someplace. Click on that right now. That really helps me too. The third way to win is to place an order with me between my last Facebook Live and tonight. I have the beautiful In Your Words stamp set. I know this is backwards, but this is shown on the, uh, is it the last page? Nope, the second to last page in the celebration brochure. Now this is a special set that you get automatically for free when your order reaches $300. And it has 10 different sentiments in here. It is absolutely beautiful. Maybe I'll just leave it sit here when I turn my camera around. You can look at it till I get my stuff unloaded. The winner of this is Lori Callies of Coon Rapids, Minnesota. Congratulations, Lori, and thank you for your order. So I will have all of these. Oh, I'm going to leave that here, right? That's what I said. I'll have all of these out in the mail. Um, not tomorrow because it's a holiday, but on Tuesday, they will definitely go out. Okay, you guys. Thank you, Kathy. Congratulations. Everyone's saying congratulations. Congratulations. You guys are so sweet. Um, yes, congratulations to all the winners. Ah. Oh, Sandra said she lost 90 pounds on the Optavia program. Go you, girlfriend. You must feel amazing. That is so outstanding. I'm just so happy for you. It really is a whole different ball game. And um, not to get off on a weight loss thing, but um, let's be real. When we start gaining weight and our clothes aren't fitting anymore, like I said, I was at the last notch on my belt. And I was like starting to feel kind of miserable. And, um, you know, I lost like 50 pounds um, when Haley got married. And then, you know, slowly it's creeping back up because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm getting lazy in that I'm not eating good. I'm eating too much. I'm going out to eat too much, which I love to do. <laughs> And it just starts creeping back on slowly. So um, I decided that I needed to drop about 10 to 15 pounds. And um, if you stay on the program, as with any program, doesn't have to be this one. If you do what you're supposed to do, you're going to lose weight. It's just the way it is. So um, the one thing that makes me crazy is when I start to feel a roll touching another roll on my back. I'm all done. Like that, just like, whoa, sister, we need to do something. So that's my indicator. <laughs> I don't like the back rolls touching each other. <laughs> all right, we're going to flip our camera around and we're going to get started. I have some really fun projects to share with you tonight. So um, Linda is asking, what is Optavia? It is a, it's a, it's a healthy program is what it is. They don't like you to say it's a diet program, but that's what I do with it. I lose weight. So it's just a really easy, convenient way to lose weight. Um, I can tell you that when I was trying to lose weight a few years ago, I thought I was eating really good and healthy. I was having, you know, like apples with peanut butter and I was eating healthy things. And yeah, I was eating way too much food, way too many calories, way too much of the wrong thing that you're never going to lose weight. And that's why people get frustrated because they think they're doing good. But until you're on a very structured plan, you will ne you're not going to lose weight. It's O-P-T-A-V-I-A, -A, Opta Via. So and if you if you private message me, I can hook you up with Bev. She's She's my friend. She's my coach. She's one of my team members now, too. So, um, Cindy said she's on the program. She was 310 and now she's 140 pounds. Go you. It, it works. It just works. It's a, it works. So, enough about weight loss. Let's flip this baby around. Let's get our camera down here. I'm going to see if I can get that glare off of this stamp set so that you can see what it says now. How's that look? Does that look less glary? <laughs> Is that a word? Hang on, I'm going to tip you guys a little bit here. And I'm almost set up. Just hang tight. Takes a little bit to get everything in order here. 
I don't have any of the fancy switcher things or whatever. I've got enough to deal with here. I don't need any other problems. But I did buy that one software that I've never used. <laughs> so ridiculous, right? Okay, so this is that stamp set. I love the sentiments in here. Hope this card makes you smile. Be who you were born to be. Perhaps the stars are opening where our loved ones shine down to let us know they are happy. Oh my gosh, that gives me goosebumps. <clears throat> Hope your day is fantabulistic, fabulous and fantastic all in one. Life is full of ups and downs. Hold on tight. Isn't that the truth? Your birthday came, your birthday went. Here's the card I should have sent. How cute is that? Sending this card for no particular reason. I see you and you are wonderful. There is magic in every beginning. Happy birthday. And I think we covered them all. 10 different sentiments in this. And again, this is part of our celebration promotion. And if you have a party or your order is $300, you will get this stamp set for free. So that's what that's all about. All right. Who's ready to make some fun stuff? Now, I am going to be showing you a layout that I got from one of my team members. And her name is Danny Garola. And she's down in, I think she's in Arizona. Pretty sure she's in Arizona. And um, she shared this design in um, a virtual swap group. Now, what the heck is that? Well, when you join my team, whether you plan on building a business or getting a discount, you get to participate in all these extra things. And a virtual swap is where you make a project. I'm looking for the sheet here, the cute designer series paper. You make a project, a card, a 3D item, whatever, and you share it in a Facebook group, a private Facebook group with a typed up project sheet that tells what the products are you use, the dimensions of your layers, and then some brief instructions on how you made it. And so you, then there are like 30 people in my virtual swap group. I don't know how many, but somewhere's around there, 30 people. You have access to 30 different project sheets every single month. You contribute one and you get to use all of them. So. That's where I get a lot of my really fantastic ideas. And that's why I'm always saying, join my team. If you are a stamper, you should be getting a discount. And if you join my team, you get to participate in all the things, no matter whether you just want a discount or you want to build a business. It's completely up to you. And I will never, ever push you to do more than you want to do. But we have a lot of fun. And it's fun for discount shoppers as well as business builders to participate in this stuff. So we're gonna be using the cute Halloween designer series paper. And even if you're not big on Halloween, this is a layout you can use with all kinds of different um, stamp sets. So don't tune out because it's like, oh, it's gonna be a Halloween card. Don't tune out. This is a great layout for anything. And I see Jan Carstensen is on here. Hi, Jan. I want summer to come back too. I love my summer. Okay, so. I am going to show you my card bits and pieces here, and then I will show you the card that Danny made and where I got this idea from. So we've got the cute stars adhesive backed sequins. These are awesome, by the way. They already have the sticky on the back. You just pull them off here and put them on your products, cards. This is the mm, punch that goes with mm, the cute Halloween set. Gosh, I can never, is it called Halloween Punch? I can never remember. I love this index in the back of our catalog where you can look up the products because I can't seem to remember Jack anything. Halloween Punch, look at that. <laughs> oh, the Halloween Punch. We're gonna be using the, um, oh, you know what? Yeah, we are gonna use the Halloween Punch. But we're gonna be using the Frightfully Cute and the Frightful Tags dies. So you get all these fun little dies in here. We're also gonna be using the second to the smallest um, layering circle die, okay? So we have three different cards here that we're gonna make, super easy, and then I'm gonna show you the fourth one. But I've got three pieces, three card bases here. 
This is basic black. This is Highland Heather and basic black. These are four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And before I forget you guys, this is my current host code. If you're placing an order under $150, please use this code. That really helps me out. Stampin' Up used to let us move people's orders into the code if you forget, but now we have a limit on how many we can do that per month. So it's super important and super helpful that you use the code, but only if your order's under $150. Okay, so we're gonna fold these on our score lines. I always like to get that hard surface under there when I'm burnishing that fold just because it'll make my card stay closed and nice and crisp. We're gonna get all of these folded and burnished. For those of you that might be new to me, this is, oh, hang on, Linda McGee. Does anyone know where I can find the sheets to showcase our DP, DSP? Yes, you make them yourself. All you're gonna do is take a white piece of cardstock and you're going to type the name and the um, colors that are listed on the back of the DSP package. I like to put the item code on here and that this is six and six by six or 12 by 12. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna print that out. So this is all going to be white. Hang on. This is just gonna be a white sheet with that printed on it, okay? Then you're gonna cut your squares. Now I think these squares, because we have more paper in this pack than a normal 12 by 12 pack, these are one and a half. So you're gonna cut one and a half and turn it over and glue it on. One and a half, turn it over. So one and a half by three, cut it in half. Okay, these are one inch circles of these colors. That's it, that's all you do. That's how I make these. Now these are bigger because there's not as many patterns. These are two by two. So I cut a two, by four, cut it in half, take one, flip it over, glue it down. These are the coordinating colors. That's a really good question. So yeah, that's how you make these. Super simple, you can type them up, print them out, and then glue your pieces on. Okay, back, back to our regular scheduled program. <laughs> I'm glad you asked that question. So we've got our card bases here. And then what I've got is I've got all these pieces of basic white. These are three and a quarter by five and a half. And you're saying, Kelly, what the heck happened to them? Well, I stamped sentiments on them and die cut them with that second smallest little circle from my circle dies, okay? So I stamped a sentiment I stamped it and then I die cut it. And this one's here because there was a mark on my cardstock, so I just did it again. This one's got two because that didn't turn out that great. You know how it is, right? So you're gonna die cut the sentiments out of the middle and then we're gonna get all of these little sentiments. Let me find all of them. They're here someplace. Here they are. Here comes my little sentiments, okay? So we're making three cards. We've got three sentiments. We're gonna take our designer series paper, this is three by five and a half, and we're going to adhere it to these white panels that are three and a quarter by five and a half. Ooh, and you guys, I just opened up a brand new bottle of glue. So exciting. It's the little things that make me so happy. <laughs> I'm gonna put a scrap in here under this circle so that I don't get glue all over my piercing mat. Okay, so I'm just trying to get this centered in the middle. Yay me. Oops, I got it crooked. Did you guys notice I got another broken nail? I do not know what's going on with my lady, but um, this one just broke. It's like, seriously? Come on, right? Okay, I'm going to trim this off just a tad because it's a little bit longer than it should be. So hang tight. Oops, I didn't get quite enough. That's probably gonna be too short, but we'll deal with that. I'm going to take the skulls that have the purple birds in them and I'm gonna put that right on here. Let's turn it over a little bit. There we go. Oh, it's not too short. Yay me, okay. <laughs> Never know what's gonna happen there. So again, this is a really nice layout. Now, if you're not into Halloween or 
even if you are, you could use this for several different kinds of cards, right? This would make a great layout for a Christmas card. It's quick and easy. Make sure I get this glued down. I love the pop of white under the designer series paper. So we're gonna do that with all three of these. Don't you love these little ghosts? I think they're so stinking cute. And again, I'm gonna put this under that little hole there. For those of you that might be new, this thing that I have under here is a piercing mat. And I'll show you. I stamp on here and so I cover it with paper so that I don't stamp all over my mat but this is what the piercing mat looks like and remember when we used to poke holes and stuff and we had all these piercing templates that's what these were for but now I use it as a stamping surface and I just wrap it with printer weight paper to um, so I don't stamp on it and that's what that is I'm gonna trim this one also and I'm using one of my old trimmers because my um, good trimmer has dull blades in it and I forgot to change it. So, yeah, not good. We're going to put this on our black card base. Why would my brand new Tombow glue come out in clumps? Um, the only reason I can think of, Karen, is that it got frozen. And if it did get frozen... Um, that will happen, unfortunately. And if you got it recently, you can contact Stampin' Up! and get it replaced. If, But, I mean, recently, it wouldn't have been frozen if you got it. You know what I'm saying. It's been summer. So um, that's the only reason I can think of. But if you have a product that is not working to the best of its, you know, ability or whatever you want to say, you should contact Stampin' Up! because they stand, but we stand behind our product. Okay, gosh, you wouldn't think that would be that hard, right? <laughs> I seem to have more, the sample that I made too, a complete copy of Danny's card. I had a heck of a time getting that panel on there straight. I don't know what my deal is. Okay, there we go. So we've got these three card fronts, and aren't they just the cutest thing? Okay, then we've got some black strips, and let me see if I remember what size these strips were. I thought I wrote it down someplace, but apparently I didn't. Uh, one and a quarter by four and a quarter are these strips. So we're going to take those and put them in the middle of each one of these little cards. Oops, I felt it move. I felt it move. I gotta give it time to be straight. There we go. Okay, hang on while I get a baby wipe out. <laughs> Renee says she's such a sucker for Halloween favorite. Renee, I love Halloween everything. I just love Halloween. Like, I get the biggest kick out of it. Did you guys see the picture of Val last year on her first Halloween? She was a little old lady. And Steve built her a little walker made out of PVC pipe. And then they painted it silver so it looked like it was metal. And it was the cutest little thing. She had these little old lady glasses on. She was a hoot. So we're, and Anna had a Halloween party. We all went to. It was so much fun. Yeah. I made all kinds of Halloween treats and hors d'oeuvres and we had a carved pumpkin that had guacamole coming out of its pumpkin mouth like it was throwing up. <laughs> it was all just disgusting and so much fun. But yeah, we love Halloween. It's just a fun reason in October. There's nothing else going on. It's a great reason to have a party or have a little bit of some type of celebration. Okay. So there's our one and a quarter by four and a quarter inch strips across there. Now, here's something neat that Danny did. We're gonna take, this is our um, metallic mesh ribbon. And I'm just about out here, but don't worry, I have another roll. And what Danny did, whoops, hang on, I just picked that up. My fingers are kind of sticky yet. I gotta get that fixed. Let me get another little piece of glue in there. Okay, let's see. 
<laughs> Judy said Val was so cute. Mary says that costume was priceless. You guys, it was to die for. I don't know how many people told me that was the cutest stinking costume they'd ever seen. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of my Seal Plus and I'm just going to put it right here. Now, I'm going to put this ribbon right across the black layer and then I am going to trim that off. Oops, I didn't do very good. Don't pull it. Just trim it so that it's even. I was pulling on it. Trim it so that it's even here. Okay. So we got that done. Now you're going to take, have you guys seen this glitter paper? Black glitter paper is so pretty. It's just so magnificent. Um, this is in the holiday mini catalog. You get two sheets of 12 by 12 called black glitter paper. So when you go to the store and just do a search for black glitter paper, you'll find it. But this is so, so pretty. We're going to take that and we're going to die cut a... Ugh, Stuck in here for Pete's sakes, Kelly. There we go. We're gonna die cut three spider webs, okay? So die cut, run them through your die cutting machine. And I've already done that. Look at how cute these are, right? Let me see if I can get some more light over here. There we go. These are stinking adorable. So what I'm gonna do with these, where's my I got this and do I have my little Where's my glue dauber? I do not know. Hang on a second, I gotta grab it. Huh, should be right there. I don't know what happened to it. It's usually laying over here somewhere. Things are, things are crashing. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on here. And I'm going to Add some glue to the back of my spider web. Now this is a silicone mat. This glue will rub right off of here. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna add this right over here. Just like that. Look at how cute it is. Okay, now the other thing that I did a little bit earlier is I just took my glue dauber and added a little bit of glue. Can you see how little bit that is? Because this is so see-through that I don't want glue globbing all over the place. But now what I'm gonna do is take one of these little circles. Did you guys see what I did with those? Here they are. Okay, so we've got less trick and more treatin'. You're so sweet, it's scary. And which way to the candy? <laughs> So I'm going to take the You're So Sweet, It's Scary. We're going to put some dimensionals on the back of here. One, two, three, that's kind of overkill, but I've got a lot of dimensionals. <laughs> It'll be okay. And I'm going to just offset this down here just a little bit. Now, one of the cute things that I thought we could do is we could take the punch. Now this is the designer series paper. Oh, did you see the back of it? It says boo, 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 boo all over it. I love black and white paper because you can use a blending brush, you can use a sponge, a sponge dauber. Um, you can use just about anything to color this. So we could make this orange and black or purple and black, right? Somebody asked me, is the glitter paper smooth? Yes, it's very smooth. That's a great question. And you get no glitter falling off of it, so it's not messy at all. It's very smooth and wonderful. It's not as thick as some older glitter paper that we used to have, too. So it die cuts a lot easier than that did. So great question, Faith. All right, we're going to take this Halloween punch, and we are going to punch out. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to need to make a little template because I've got this piece is a little small. So let's see. I just took a sticky note and I put it on there so that I can 
move it around, okay? That's a really great little tip. So I'm gonna push this in here, and it seems like my punch is hitting on something here. So I just cut off some corners. Okay, that's better. Gonna get this centered in here, punch it. And now we have this cute little ghost. Isn't that adorable? And what I thought is we could just stick that little ghost in here someplace. And I'm thinking right there is gonna work. So I'm gonna put a dimensional on the back of it. like that and we're just gonna put this how about right there it's kind of a little bit on our little circle look at how cute that is you guys is that not adorable yeah so we're gonna do that inside in a minute now we have this one we are going to do the same thing let's get a little bit of seal just where that circle is going to be and we're going to take our metallic ribbon, lay it right across here. I'm going to add a little bit more glue here. Oh, I was going to show you guys. Do you see that there's dried glue right here? To clean this off, look at that. You just rub it and it comes right off. This is a fantastic little craft. It's called a silicone craft sheet. And it is wonderful. So just take a little bit of glue and put it right down here to hold that ribbon in place. And we're gonna do the same thing to this one as long as we've got it all right here. There we go. This ribbon is so pretty. It's great for Christmas too. Okay. A little bit. Right here. And there's my little dauber. Well, these daubers are really nice. They have a hole in the end, so you can put your finger in there and control them really well. You get five in a pack. I don't know how much they are, but they don't cost that much. They're wonderful. And they're called Sponge Dauber, D-A-U-B-E-R. Okay, there we go. Now, we're going to do our... Um, Spider webs. I already have those all die cut. And again, I'm just going to put that right up here. And then we'll do the other one right away. Put that right up here. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. Okay, let me set that aside. And we've got the other two little sentiments here. Can anybody see? Oh, here they are. Yeah, Deanne says she, Deanna says she loves the ribbon. It looks like spider webs. It really does. It's really cool ribbon. Um, another thing that I like to do with it is tie a bow. Look how cool that looks when you tie a bow with it. It's just really neat ribbon. Very fun, easy to work with. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Plus, if you're in a pinch to put some ribbon around a small package, definitely will be spectacular. You could use it for that too. Okay, we've got which way to the candy... Less trick and more treatin'. I think we're gonna go with the less trick and more treatin' right here. And where'd our other card go? Right here. Which way to the candy? We'll put that right here in our little jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, and then we are going to punch out. We could do a cat or we could do a jack-o'-lantern. I think the jack-o'-lantern is gonna um Hang on, I got that little crooked. Is going to pop better against the um, black here. So I'm going to choose the jack o' lantern. I'm going to put this right in here. 
punch out our little pumpkin. Yay! And we'll put a dimensional on the back of that. Let's see. How do I want this to go? Um, I'm thinking right up here. Right here. Down here. Hmm, I'm thinking right there. Put that dimensional on there. How about just like that? Cute. Oops. Let's get all, get all the bits and pieces out of here. Last but not least, this punch has the ghost, the cat, and the pumpkin. Not the skeleton. But I took the skeleton paper and I cut out a skeleton. It was pretty simple. And we're going to put that on this last card. And I think we'll put that right over here. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Look how cute that is, right? So we've got this one, this one, and this one. And then here was Danny's original card. And I think I would like to put a kitty cat on there. So let's cut some of these out of the way. Um, I think I just cut it the wrong way. <laughs> Look at your punch before you start cutting stuff. It's always a good rule of thumb. And here comes the cat. Let's see if I can get this in here. Now, you're like, well, what happens? You got that punch, but what happens when you run out of all this fun paper? Don't worry. We're going to use the stamp set because you can stamp as many of these as you need forever and still use them with wherever the punch. Okay, so cutest Halloween goes with the Halloween punch. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. I'm going to add a dimensional here to the cat. And I think I'll put that right there. What do you guys think? Aren't these cute? Now, again, if Halloween isn't your thing, that's fine. This is a great layout. This ribbon is fantastic. That black glitter paper can be used for a lot of other things besides Halloween. So we have all these fantastic cards. Now we need to do something about the inside. So let's see what we're going to do. Um, I've got some black memento ink here. And I think we're going to stamp, before we do anything, we're going to stamp this Happy Halloween to you on here. Because if I get it crooked, I can turn it over right away without doing any other work. <laughs> Seems to be my status quo lately. Is crooked, like see how crooked that one is? Cheapers, Kelly. First day on the job. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Then we have these fun spiders on a little spider web. Look at how cute that is, right? Let's get these babies decorated up. Cute, cute, cute. Then we have some bats. How cute is that? We'll do one maybe right there. Let's do the witch. Got a little witch there. Aren't these cute? They're just cute. All right, now we're ready to finish our cards. I'm like, where'd our cards go? Right here. There's one. Here it comes, whoops, that one's already got an inside in there. Let's do this one. And, oh, did you see what I did? Look, look what I just did. Yeah, it'll be okay. Um, after that dries, I can rub it off, but I stuck it in the glue, so. Be mindful <laughs> what you're doing there. What do you guys think? Aren't these just the sweetest? Danny, thank you so much for sharing this. And again, I got this from our virtual swap group. And uh, 
It's a great layout for just about any kind of card. You can use any designer series paper in here. You could use Christmas paper. You could use Valentine paper. Put a little heart here or Christmas tree or, you know, whatever. I love this. So thanks, Danny. And I hope you guys will give that some thought to join my team because you get to participate in all these fun things. And it's always better to be part of something bigger, right? You get to be part of our Facebook group. I have a Facebook group. We have a team meeting every month where we have demonstrations and all kinds of fun activities. We do mystery stamping, lots of door prizes, all kinds of good stuff. So give it a try. You have nothing to lose. And if you don't stick with it and you find it's not for you, no big deal. No big deal at all. Okay, next up. Another fun project. So hang tight. I'm going to get this stuff moved out of my way. I might want to use the bat again. So I'm going to leave that one out. Here we go. So I have got the tasteful label dies. And we're going to be using this particular die out of that set. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Wendy says Kelly's team rocks. Wendy, you are always the sweetest. And yes, Synthony, love the layout. It is. It's a really good layout. You can do, you've got lots of options with that layout. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so fun. Um, we got our stars here. We didn't put any stars on those last cards because I just felt that they were kind of busy enough, okay? I don't think we need to add any stars to them, so we'll use them on this particular project. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. All right, here comes my little notes. I've got all these little things happening here. Let's see, we got some scraps. Um, we have a window sheet. These are part of our window sheets. Now, window sheets come two to a package, 12 by 12, okay? And they are called window sheets. I've already taken, I've got a whole bunch of scraps down in here, so I barely had to cut this. I just cut the end off to make it a little shorter. But this particular window sheet is two and a quarter by three and a half. And this is just tissue paper from the package. We're not going to use that, but it helps me so I don't lose this. You'll lose the window sheets all over your desk if you don't keep them with the tissue paper. That is my biggest tip for you when using this. So um, we are going to use also this black and white gingham ribbon. This is so much fun. I absolutely love it. We've got Memento Black Ink, Pumpkin Pie, Highland Heather, I've also got Highland Heather Light, uh, Pumpkin Pie Dark, and Bronze Stampin' Blend Markers, and the adorable Cutest Halloween stamp set, okay? So, here's what we're going to do. Let me get these little bits and pieces out of here. Okay, whew. First thing we're gonna do, we're going to be working with the tombstone treat boxes, okay? So I just opened these earlier today and they come in a package just like this inside the cellophane. So I took them out and I looked at them and I'm like, huh, okay. What you wanna do is you wanna grab one from the top and one from the bottom because if you look at these, they're different sizes. This one is smaller, this one is bigger. And see, these are just a little bit bigger than these, okay? So one is the top and one is the bottom. The top one is bigger. So before you start doing anything, hold your two pieces together and see which one is your top of your tombstone box and which one is your bottom. I can clearly see this is bigger. That's going to be my top, okay? I'm just going to set my bottom right here. Now, the other thing you wanna look at is this is the top of your box or your tombstone, okay? So we are going to take this label, we are going to put it right in the middle of our tombstone 
and you're going to secure it so it doesn't move around. You're gonna run this through your die cutting machine two or three times. And I say that because we have some very, very thick, almost cardboard cardstock here and another layer here. So you've gotta go through two layers with your die, okay? Once you do that, you're gonna end up with this. So I'm gonna put this die back so I don't lose it and my tape back. But like I said, put it through two or three times, it will cut it out. And what I do is I run it through and then I move it a little bit and run it back through and move it and run it. And then you'll, you'll get your piece cut out. So now I'm gonna take these two pieces this is also a top or front. Um, let's see if this one's smaller. Yep, this is a smaller one. So this is my bottom tombstone. This is my top. We're gonna take this window sheet, two and a quarter by three and a half, and we're going to add it over the back of this window. And I like to do that with mini glue dots. So I'm just going to take some mini glue dots and I'm going to put them on the corners. Oops. And that will be plenty to hold this in place. Okay. We're going to just set this in here just like that. And now we have a window. Okay. These are the coolest things to put together. You're gonna fold on all the score lines, just like this. By the way, you get eight of these in a package for $10, and these will be the easiest little boxes you ever put together. So once you've folded, pull the sides up. Whoops, I forgot to fold that one. Pull the sides up, push the tabs in. We are going to take it's already got adhesive on it. Like these don't get much easier, I'm telling you. Take the adhesive backing off, hold that square, push it in like that. Same thing here. Take the backing off. It's kind of like um, sticky strip or tear and tape. Boom, there's our little box. Is that not the cutest little thing? Yeah. Okay, so before you do this, if you wanna do any stamping, you wanna do it while it's flat. I kind of forgot about that, but I didn't plan on stamping on this particular one. Okay, so that was our front, and now we're gonna do the same thing. Oh, and if you do stamp on here, I recommend Stazon ink, because um, this is, it's not real porous. It's not waterproof either, but um, Stazon ink will dry better for you. Okay, so here comes this one. Again, pull the tabs in, start at one end, and we're gonna pull off that backing. This is the bottom of our box. So we've got the top done. This is the bottom. I was really amazed at how cool these were. Like, they even put the tape on it for you. Like, <laughs> doesn't get much easier than that. <laughs> so there we go, here's our little tombstone. Just like that. Is that not the cutest little thing ever? Okay, so what I wanted to do was decorate this just a touch. So I've got a little half inch strip of basic white here. And I thought what I'd do is we've got the, from the cutest Halloween set, you've got all these cute little sentiments in here. I've got the um, treat yourself. And I'm gonna see if I can stamp that straight without sticking my head in. Well, that's pretty good, huh? Uh, yeah, it's good. Okay, um, where did my little scissors go? Okay, here's my scissors. We are going to trim this down just a little bit. And I think what I'd like to do is maybe flag the ends, or maybe not. Maybe not, maybe this is good enough. I don't think we're gonna flag the ends. I think we're gonna leave it just like that. Let me get this closed. Okay, the other thing we're gonna do is we're going to use some scraps. And what I recommend after playing around with the punch for a little while is that you do strips for your scraps. Rather than a bigger piece or a piece this way, you're gonna do up and down or um, what is that, vertical? Yeah, I always go horizontal 
horizontal, horizon, vertical. <laughs> That's how this crazy mind works. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take some Highland Heather ink. And you've got the solid image and the um, outline image. So we're going to stamp off once and we're going to um, stamp our little ghost. And notice that I kind of tilted my ghost to the side. So we're going to stamp off once and let's do it at the other end. We'll see what happens when we're done here. Yay! And then we're going to use some black ink for that outline. Now I gotta kind of get my head in here so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's do this one. There we go. Oh, that looks really nice. Okay, and then there is the cute little hands and face. Look at how stinking adorable that is, right? That just makes me kind of giggle. <laughs> Amy says her mind works the same. It's a scary place in here, Amy. Very, very scary. Yeah. Look at how cute they are. Okay. So, stay focused, Kelly. Okay. See why I did this on the end? Because you can come in here and you can very nicely punch your little ghost out, but it's also going to punch a bunch of this out. So just know that. I just found it was easier to use these strips vertically because I had a lot of problems when I tried to do it horizontally. So here's our cutie patootie little ghost. Now what we're going to do, let's get rid of this. We are going to do some pumpkins. And we've got our pumpkin pie here. Okay. And let's look at our punch again. Oh, our pumpkin is way over here. So I'm going to take my pumpkin and I'm going to stamp it this way. And the reason why I did that is because now when I put this in here, it's going to be easy to line up. Okay, so that's why I kind of look at that and see what's going on. All right. And again, just like this, because I want more than one pumpkin. I think I'm actually going to do three pumpkins. So let me get another little strip of paper. Do you guys have a scrap bin? <laughs> this is a little excessive, I'm not going to lie. But I cut a lot of card kits, right? So I get all these end pieces and little pieces that are left over, and I stick them in that. <laughs> like I said, it's a little excessive, but works for me. Okay, we're going to, I want three pumpkins. All right, then let's get this closed up. We are going to find the outline of our pumpkin. I've got Memento Black. This was pumpkin pie, if I didn't say that. Ooh, that was really good. You're going to just line them up. Oh my gosh. I am on a roll. Now I just jinxed myself. You know this. This one is upside down. I can see that, you guys. So that'll be a little trickier. And that one I kind of am a little off, but it's not a big deal. Okay, here comes our little pumpkin jack lantern face. Look at how cute he is, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, and then we'll do this one and this one. Oh my good grief, so cute. Now I'm gonna grab my bronze marker here and color in that stem. That's what I have that out here for. Hang on, I got a message coming up there. Weird. Okay, um, okay, I gotta check something on my computer. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have got, <laughs> Lisa says, now I see the pumpkin in face. I need this bundle. And you're welcome, Lisa. Lisa's one of my team members. And of course you need this bundle. <laughs> super, super cute. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to punch these out. And this one's going to be kind of tricky. So I'm going to do this one first. Oops, here we go. Get that. Let's see if I can line up a punch. First day, Kelly. 
I think I'm going to invite Haley and Jared over for breakfast tomorrow morning. Although that's kind of going to stand up, sabotage my, <laughs> my little diet I got going on. Hmm. Should I invite them over? We'll make buttermilk pancakes. And Steve got some venison made into breakfast sausages. Can I just say, oh my goodness, deliciousness. <gasps> They are the best. There's no gristle in them. They've got really, really good flavor. Okay, there's a little pumpkin. And i got one more pumpkin here. But yeah, they're really, really good. Like, really, really good. So, I'll make homemade buttermilk pancakes and venison breakfast sausages. They're really nice because they're not greasy. And like I said, they don't have any of that gristly crap in them that you always get. It's always one in every sausage, it seems. <laughs> of regular sausage. Okay, look at my cute little pumpkin guys. Aren't they just adorable? All right, next, we are going to decorate our cute... Oh, we've got one more thing to do. And I measured this for you. The ribbon needs to be nine inches. So I always find that helpful when I'm trying to follow along with something that somebody's made. Um, we are going to take our pumpkin pie marker and we're going to make this ribbon pumpkin pie. So I am going to slide this down. And the cool part about these alcohol markers is that you don't have to do the other side. It automatically bleeds through. It's pretty cool. So now look at that. Where'd that ribbon go? Here's the black and, whoa, hang on. <laughs> it's rolling away, people. <laughs> it's rolling away. Here's the orange and here's the black and white. And isn't that just so pretty? Okay, we're gonna take this. Ooh, I hear Steve came in the house. He's getting some ice. We're gonna tie a little bow. Hang on. I should get my bow jig out, but I'm being a little bit lazy right now. I'm not gonna lie. Hey Steve! What? Can you bring my mail up here that's on the counter down there? What? Mail. Mail? Yes. What? Did I stutter? <laughs> that was really snarky. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So we've got this cute little bow. We've got our cute little pumpkins. We've got a couple little ghosts here. What the heck is she doing, right? Where did our tombstone go? Do you guys see it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so let's do our pumpkins. I'm going to take and put a mini glue dot on this bow right here. Thank you very much. I forgot to, yeah, I forgot to bring it up. Yep. Thank you. She forgot to bring it up. Yeah, you can't see anybody. They're here. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> oh, my good Lord. Okay. Good night. Say good night. Say good night to everybody. Good night, all. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So, we're going to put that little bow right here. Sleep tight. I'll see you in several hours. <laughs> Yeah, for your 13-hour nap. I told them about my 13-hour nap. <laughs> and one pulls in your door. You do it. Okay, so we've got our little treat yourself. I don't know if I want to put that up here. Yeah, I'm thinking I do, you guys. Okay, so maybe this is what I'm going to do is just like this. Maybe one up here. Oh, I think I like that. What do you guys think of that? Okay, so... Let me find my mini dimensionals. <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. Thanks, Danny. Danny and I were um, messaging back and forth earlier today. It was kind of funny because I was asking her about her project and she happened to be working on some um, gifts for her new team members. And they were ideas that I had shared and I was using her idea that she had shared. So that's like one of the wonderful things about the stamping community is being able to share all these fantastic ideas with each other and, you know, repurpose them and whatever. That, that's what I love about being part of a team. You know what? I need, I need to add another dimensional. That's, this is a little bit lower. Why is that? Let me look at that. Hang on. Huh. 
Why is that so much slower? It's kind of bowing, you guys. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of tape and I'm gonna tuck it into those corners to keep that window sheet up here where it belongs, okay? Because I see that it's kind of getting a little weak. Okay, see what I did there? The window sheet goes up to the edge. I just put some tape in there to kind of make it stay flush up against my box here. Let me get that dimensional out of there. Okay, so there's one. Let's see, is that staying up here where it belongs now? Yep, it is now. Okay, and then we're gonna put these on with some mini dimensionals. Sherry says she's gonna make some, oh my gosh, these are so cute, you guys. Like, they're just the cutest little things. I've got another one to show you, too, so hang tight. Treat yourself. What if we put this one? Did you see I punched this kind of goofy? Let me see, oh, I've got another, I got another pumpkin here. Ooh, what do you guys think about one up there? Do you like that? Is that a good spot? I'm thinking that's a good spot for a pumpkin. What are we gonna put in this box? You guys know what we're putting in it, don't ya? My favorite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amy, you case away for your Halloween class. I am happy to help. <gasps> oh, let's eat one. Oh gosh. Bless you, candy corn. <laughs> oh my God, look how cute it is. That, this was a whole bag and I only ate like four pieces. So I got, I have some more in another thing. But before we do that, I want to find my little stars. And I think I'm going to go, I don't have any black stars left on this open card. So I'm going to bring in some of my black stars. And again, this is just the perfect amount of embellishment. When you tilt these in the light, you get a little bit of glimmer. Look at how cute they are. Is that not stinking adorable? Yeah. So fill these with candy more than came in here. What are we going to do with these little ghosts? Well, where'd the other one go? Nobody knows. It's missing. We lost a ghost, people. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we've got this cute little box. Lid comes right off. Isn't that just precious? Yeah. Here's our little ghosts. I'll show you what I did with them. Let's talk about how cute this is. <laughs> so I stamped spiders with stays on ink right on my box before I put it together. You want it to be flat, right? <gasps> Hershey's Kisses. Fall kisses would be really good in here, Lisa. Yes, even Christmas. Well, this is a tombstone, so that doesn't really apply for Christmas. But I was thinking about that. Hi, Jackie Unger. I was thinking about that. You could cut this tombstone off, and you could cut these two little pieces off here, and you would just have a little gray box. Okay, so you could totally do other things with this. <laughs> Thanks, Cindy White. Cindy says, oh my goodness, love, love, love. Here's my candy corn. I took one of my little ghosts and I glued it inside. Where did those little buggers go? I glued it inside my little box, okay? So I just put a glue dot on the front of its little bottom here. And I glued it in there like this, okay? So that's what I did there. I put that one inside. I've got the window sheet in here. I stamped the Hey Boo and I offset it just a little bit with the Highland Heather. So I stamped it with Highland Heather and then stamped it with black. So you can see a little bit of purple under there. That's called a shadow effect. Again, I, I already showed you guys how I did these. I stamped off once with the purple before I stamped them. And then I added some of these little iridescent stars and the Highland Heather marker I used to color that black and white gingham ribbon. If you haven't ordered any of this yet, you must get some. It is hot, hot, hot. It is so incredibly popular. You can make it any color you want and black and white gingham will always make a project pop. It's just incredible. 
<laughs> Thank you guys so much. You're so sweet. Oh my God, I love candy corn. But there we go. All of this, super cute. Now, remember, these are called tombstone treat boxes. You get eight of them for $10. And when you go to use them, don't forget, hang on, that they come in the, in, in the package like this, okay? You take one from this side and one from that side, and then you see which one is bigger, because you can see these are smaller, these are bigger, and then um, you decorate the front and do the things to the front, okay? But <laughs> I just love, I can't stop. It's like, oh my gosh, these are so cute, aren't they? Yeah. So we have, let me get rid of some of all this. <laughs> we got a big old mess going on, right? We have the cutest Halloween stamp set with the Halloween punch. Absolutely adorable. Get yourself two packs of the cute Halloween DSP because you know you're going to want to. Here comes our super cute little cards. Thanks to Danny's layout. Danny rocked it. Right? Aren't these just the cutest? Look at look at this and this together. Oh my good lord. Molly, Val, Haley. Who else am I gonna give these to? Probably Andy. Yeah. These are going to make the most adorable little Halloween gifts. Anna, Anna would even love them. Super duper cute. Now, don't forget, I'm going to show you guys my mail. I got some really pretty mail. This is my current host code. When you place an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. It's what keeps me in business and keeps my bills paid. When you um, place an order that's under $150, please use this host code. Um, what else can I tell you here? Uh, hang on just a second. We're going to see what's going on. Um, oh, I know. The other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is my class this month. My kit class is going to use these, this amazing bundle, the Whimsical Trees and the Christmas Tree Dyes. Somebody asked me if I could do a class with this, or they said, I hope you do a class on this, and you won. <laughs> Your wish has been granted. I am going to do a class with this. So watch for that information coming out soon. I don't know what I'm going to include in it yet. I haven't had time to sit down and think it over, but this is going to rock your socks off. Like This is so very pretty. So watch for that. On my blog, you can head right over there. Just do a Google search for estampabove.com and you will find me tons and tons of great ideas on there. And my online classes, click on that. It'll take you right to the screen with all the online classes. Okay, let me move some of this stuff. And this is my mail that just came in over like the last day or so. Because I brought the, where did the, oh, here's the rest of my mail that came in a little bit earlier. So let's show you the mail. Thank you guys so much. You are always so grateful and so gracious. And thank you for spending Sunday nights with me. I love it. Okay, here comes a beautiful card. This is from Deborah Cyril. And I have to tell you that um, one of my longtime, very good stamping customers passed away not too long ago. And she had a whole bunch of sisters that all stamped with her and a niece. Jan is watching tonight. Oh my goodness. I was so sad that um, Virginia was no longer with us. But this is a card from, I guess, I think it's her. Mm, mm, oh, I know it's not a sister. Cousin, um, this is from Deb Cyril, and isn't this pretty? I love this basket weave embossing folder and the gorgeous, um, I think it's called Summer Shadows. The dyes are free right now. Let me look. Where is my celebration? Does anybody see my celebration brochure? Good Lord, I have such a mess going on. I have an empty bag of candy corn. I can find that just fine. <laughs> 
if I didn't find it. I don't know where it went. Anyways, the shadow dies are in there and they go with the summer shadow, I think Stamp said is what it's called. I don't know where Celebration went. It's gone. <laughs> Anyways, Deb, thank you so much for your beautiful card. Absolutely gorgeous. Then, Lisa Nealon, look at this beauty. Yeah, this uses that beautiful mm, harvest paper. Is that what it's from? Um, I just used it the other day. Good Lord. Can you guys tell that there's just too much? Oh, no, it's the Blackberry Beauty. That's what I used the other day. I just made two swap cards with this. I'll be sharing that with you um, probably on the next Facebook Live. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful. That's where this paper is coming from. It's a specialty paper, and you can see the gold foil embossing in it. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, Lisa was saying, thank you for the Mary's Moments bundle. She was one of the winners at our team meeting, and um, she got to choose the Mary's Moments bundle. Can't wait to play with it. As always, you're amazing. Lisa, you're amazing. Beautiful card. Lisa's a very, very good stamper. Love getting stuff from her. The other thing we do on my with my team is we do um, an optional swap. People can choose to um, to join card swaps, and they're amazing. You get actual physical cards back. Wendy says the only good thing about 2020 COVID shutdown was your stamping. <laughs> Wendy, I love you. You're so sweet. Yeah, I might need a little bit. Where did my... Whew. Wendy, Wendy sent me the hot flash cooling mist. I'm going to use a little bit right now, but I don't want to get it in my eyes. Remember when I got it in my eyes the first time? <laughs> oh, good Lord. Okay, this is Thank You, and this is from Jan Karstensen. And again, um, Mary and Jan, uh, Virginia was... Jan's aunt. So yeah, look at that pretty card that she made. Isn't that beautiful? So she would like to express her sincere appreciation for love, kindness, and prayers. You are so very welcome, Janny. I'm just so sad for your loss. Then we have, and here's another one. This is Virginia's sister. Pat sent this beautiful, gorgeous card. Isn't that so pretty? I love this. Yeah, and again, it was saying thank you. I sent cards off to everyone, of course, because that's what we do, right? We send cards. Okay, then let me pull this stuff in. Oh, Luba. Luba, I was so excited. Luba sent cards, first of all, for Haley and Jared. Look at this cute baby card. Is that not just stinking adorable? Luba says, Jared and Haley and Val. Congratulations on the news of your baby boy. Hope all goes well as you wait for his arrival. All the best from Luba. Ah, oh, super duper cute. I had to put this back in the envelope. And then she also sent a card to Steve and I. And I showed it to Steve today. It says, congratulations on the news of your newest grandson that will come into your lives. Wishing everyone the very best with love. Is that not just... She is so sweet. Luba, you are the sweetest. Oh, let me move these off to the side. Next up. Ooh, here's a pretty one too. Who's this from? Oh, um, this is from Mary Lynn. Mary Lynn, I accidentally sent her two um, bingo packets, I think. I don't know how that happened, Mary Lynn. I just can't. I don't get it. But anyways, Mary Lynn sent me one back. And she sent this card with it. It says... So where is my consolation prize for first bingo? Mary Lynn, Mary Lynn won the consolation prize for one of the bingo games. And you should have had it by now, Mary Lynn. I did put it in the mail before I got this. Mary Lynn, you're watching. Did you get your consolation prize? I think you did. Let me know if you didn't because it should have arrived already. <laughs> but what a beautiful, beautiful card. I loved this paper, right? So, so pretty. Yeah. Gorgeous. It says, friends make the good times better and the hard times easier. Woohoo! Okay. Um, is that all the mail? Yes, I believe that is all the mail. Uh, I had one person who messaged me and... Okay, good. Marilyn got it yesterday. Woohoo! I had one person who messaged me 
and asked if there were any extra bingo packets. Now, Mary Lynn just sent this one back, and I think I have one more. If you watched my bingo um, that I did uh, the last Wednesday of August, and you would like to get the make and take packet, it's, look what you get in here. It's all the card stock pre-cut for five different cards plus um, designer series paper. You get, I think, uh, I don't know if it's a half a pack or a quarter of a pack in here, um, plus black glitter paper, plus the stars. And um, the label on here is wrong. I told everybody I accidentally put the wrong labels on these packages, but this is bingo. If anybody would like to get a hold of that, pop me an email and I can invoice you for it. Um, it is $35 and it includes um, 15 to 20 dollars in product along with the make and takes plus I will send you a PDF file that gives you links to the video and also pictures of all the projects so it's pretty cool and I need to cross this off and put on here bingo okay yeah, I do. I have two bingo packets left with all the product in them. So if anybody's interested, let me know. You guys, once again, I want to thank you for joining me tonight. Um, this is always so much fun for me. I think Facebook Live is probably one of the funnest things about my job. And I have a lot of fun things, right? But um, getting to spend an evening with you guys is just the best. And don't forget, I have an online class coming out. I will not be live next Sunday. I'll make sure that I let you know exactly what's going on when I know what's going on. It should be a lot of fun. Um, Sandra says she would like a bingo. Okay, Sandra, let me get a post-it note and I will put that on there. Did anybody else say they wanted a bingo packet? I'm going to put your name on one. I'll pop you an invoice, okay? So just hang tight. Anne says, I look forward to every Sunday. I look forward to every Sunday too. And you know what? It's really funny. I thought today was Saturday. And it got to be about 3 o'clock. And I'm like lollygagging around. I thought, oh, I might go, I might go shopping. Because what do I need to look for? Oh, I need to look for some type of a thing to hang in my new bathroom. And Haley and I talked about it. And she thinks I need something maybe big above the toilet. Um, but I don't know what. Anyways, I'm like, oh, maybe I should go shopping. And I'm not really tired. I just slept for 13 hours. <laughs> I don't need a nap. And then I thought, it's not Saturday. It's Sunday. And why don't I do my Facebook Live? Because I was supposed to be gone, right? So then I got, I'm like, oh, I need to figure out some stuff. So this was really fun, you guys. I love making these kinds of projects. They just tickle me pink. All right. Stampin' Miss Bad for photopolymer stamps. Debbie's asking, is Stampin' Miss Bad for photopolymer stamps? No, not to my knowledge. I've used it. I used it for a long time with the stamps. So, no. I don't think Stampin' Miss is bad for anything, really. Um, good question, though. If somebody knows different, but I'm pretty sure it's fine. I used it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I wish everybody a wonderful Labor Day. If you reside in the United States, enjoy, treat yourself to something. Like, even if it's just a little bit of candy corn, right? Oh, I love the candy corn. You either love it or you hate it. It is on my love list. <laughs> Have yourselves a great couple weeks. I will be back on... September 19th for a live. I do have a blog hop this coming Thursday and another one the following Tuesday. So watch for those great projects coming your way. You guys have yourselves a great couple weeks. Bye-bye.